so hi in this video I am going to show you how to create this basic um, CD model using Gravel plugin so I am going to create a new model um, I'm just going to show you to show you like a really basic and easy way to make a CD model using Gravel uh, first we are we need to go to set up primitive and then we are going to choose plane to create our base our base here um, now after we create our base we can adjust the size um, as much as you want um, after that we can select um, here and select line so um, the line here is going to be the road so in order to do that enable in renderer enable in viewport here and also choose rectangular and also here in drag type choose base here so after you enable all of that um, we can start creating the road there there now after we create the road um, we can adjust the size so I am going to choose this road to be like a minor minor road so I can adjust the size here with I can um, put the width smaller here also And then also, and then here I am going to make it wider. Okay, so now we have our road. Um, the next thing is I am going to choose um, this. And I am going to change the color so that we can better see it, the difference. Now we can um, right click, convert to editable poly, and then after that we can um, go to here and select attach, and then we are going to attach um, everything here, all the lines to be just one single object. So now we have our road and we have our base. The next thing is we are going to cut the plane based on the shape of the road that we have made so in order to do that we can select the plane and then go to here and then here in standard primitive we can click that and then go to compound object here we can select pro boolean and then after that um, choose subtraction and then enable cookie also after that go to advanced option here and then we can um, select make quadrilaterals which is going to put this grid in a random shape just like how city should be so after that we can start picking we can click start picking and then we can select the road so there you can see the grid is changing into these random lines and also we can see um, this road in our base map so for the I think for the grid I can um, adjust the number to be less so I can go to with 5 here after that next step is we are going to put um, the gravel plugin into this base map so we can um, right click and then we can convert to editable poly here so here we select polygon and then go scroll and then here in edit polygons we select inset 
and then we can select everything here and then um, click on the box beside the insert uh, button here and then here you can choose by polygon um, to uh, select just the grids so you see here we can adjust the number to make it um, bigger or smaller so I can I am going to go with this and then now I am going to go to modifier and then I am going to go to grapple so here is um, the base model uh, of uh, the city a really simple way of uh, making your model and now what I am going to do next is I am going to uh, put a really simple material over our model uh, you can actually put a couple of material in your model but for now I am going to just show you how to put just one material over the whole buildings here so first you go to rendering and then render set up and then um, you can uh, choose whichever renderer you want but for now I am going to choose um, scanline renderer because it's going to affect what kind of material you have in your palette so now after I select that I can go to here to material editor so here it works kind of like a grasshopper if you have um, like a grasshopper um, now uh, I am going to choose multi sub um, no, sorry, I'm going to choose standard. So here, um, I can, so here we have a list of the kind of material that we can put in our model. But for now, I am going to just choose this diffuse color here, and then I'm going to drag this, and then I can go to general, and then I can choose bitmap. So bitmap here um, will allow you to upload a material that you can put in your model. So you can put a uh, buildings or you can put like some kind of like a simple stucco to uh, just to put a material in your building. So I am going to choose that here. I have here and then um, so now I can select this and then I can um, right click in my material and then I can choose assign material to selection but here right now you cannot see the stucco it's because you haven't um, enabled them so now you can click here and then now you can see that your model um, already have a material to it so yeah now there you have it um, you have your 3d model and then you can also change the material you can also manipulate the height of the buildings which I'm going to show you later so yeah thank you for watching